Hello, everybody. Thank awesome. Thank you so much um, for everybody for coming. Um, we'd like to welcome you to, um, to our presentation today on how to take courses at the community college. Um, my name is Michelle Martinez. I'm going to be presenting to you today along with my colleague, Erin Ridgway, who I will turn it over to um, halfway through. So let's go ahead and get started. So what uh, today's objectives or learning outcomes are is for you to understand the benefits of taking courses at the community, California Community College. Um, we want you to understand what courses you can take at the community as well. And we also want to review the process of actually finding transferable courses because we understand that can be a bit confusing. And we also want, would like to uh, illustrate how to transfer the courses um, over for credit to Cal Poly when you have completed those courses at the community college. So let's go ahead and get started with the benefits of taking community college courses. Um, the reason for it um, is to, to get ahead in units or make up units to stay on track for graduation. So remember, it's a take 30, you know, a year for you to get in and out of here in a timely manner. Although we understand sometimes things, um, you have other responsibilities to take, you know, to also um, complete and didn't have as long as in your, in your college years, but we also want to make sure that you stay up on your units or make up those units to stay on track. So, you know, we can get you in and out in a timely manner and save you some money. So there are several community colleges to choose from. Um, again, we'll go in, <clears throat> excuse me, on how to choose from those several community colleges in the local area or near you. Um, the other benefit is affordability. It is very affordable to take courses at the community college. Um, you will see a comparison if you like to go ahead and do your research. It is definitely much more affordable than potentially taking colleges um, courses here at Cal Poly Pomona. And um, we'll talk more about that and what courses you can take. Um, the best options, you know, and timing for you to take these courses would be winter or summer options that are available. Um, just be mindful that some winter sessions may overlap with Cal Poly's um, spring semester. So you want to make sure for scheduling purposes that you're looking at the calendar, that it doesn't run into the spring semester um, here with your courses here, because it can do that um, usually about two to three weeks. And then also there's a large variety of winter and summer courses that are available at the community college. Um, I know I've taken a look with several students and there is a wide variety of courses. So that would be the best optimal time for you to take courses at the community college. So courses that you can take at the community college is really important for you to understand are only lower division courses. What does that mean? Well, lower division courses are all of the lower division GE areas. So we have A1, GE area A1, A2, and A3. Also lower division uh, GE areas B1, B2, B3, and B4. Uh, one thing to make note of is that if you take one of the sciences, a lab component of a B3 must be taken with it. So either with the B1 or the B2. Also, another lower division GE area that you can choose from is a C1 or a C2, as well as the D1, D2, or D3, if applicable, if you're on that same GE uh, pattern that requires a D3, as well as area E and F, again, if applicable, if it applies to you, if you're on the GE pattern that requires area F. Um, other lower division courses can be major courses that are required in your major at the 1,000 or 2,000 level, you know, only. Again, that's 1,000 or 2,000 level courses only um, that you can indeed transfer from the community college. And I always recommend, as advisors, we will always recommend for you to double check with your department as well, just to ensure that that is indeed going to transfer over for any of these 1,000, 2,000 level courses. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So 
Step one, how to find your college. Um, you will go ahead and find your college here if you click on this uh, link here and it will take you to the link to find your community college. So example, if you wanna find Mount Sac, which is a natural feeder here, you can go ahead and click on this link and it'll take you to that um, website here to find Mount Sac. So uh, you always wanna find the community college that is closest to you um, to make it easy, okay? So you'll go ahead and do that and click on that. And then step two is you want to go ahead, once you find the college and you know for sure, let's say again, Mount Sac, since it's, it's nearby across over the hill, if that is the community college that you will be taking, um, going and attending, the next thing you want to do is check the articulation. So then you'll go ahead and click on this link here that is assist.org. This website will tell you the articulation agreements that we have with all the community colleges. So again, if it is Mount SAC you're going to be choosing, then you wanna go ahead and click on that and select Mount SAC as, the, as the, the community college that you will be attending. And then we'll go ahead and find GE area one, say that's the one that, you know, GE course that you wanna take. You will actually click on it and see here in the animation, you'll click on the, the course, I'm sorry, the college. And then you're gonna click on the actual year and everything um, to the side to be able to, to figure out what courses will satisfy GE area one. Another example that you can look for is history to 202. So everybody is required to take courses here and um, for the history component. So then you can also um, look for this one as well. All right, thanks, Michelle. Now I'm going to walk you through how to find your KE courses on a set. So first, what you're going to do is locate the right-hand column, and you are going to select your community college in the drop-down menu. Then you're going to want to select CSU GE Breadth Certification Courses. Finally, you will click on the View Transferability List. This will bring up a new page where you will be able to view your transferable courses by the CSU GE breadth area. And then you can select which GE area you would like to view courses for. In this example, we are using GE area A1 to figure out what class will transfer over CPP and cover GE area A1. If you are following along with us, you can go ahead and review what GE courses cover uh, A1 um, and go ahead and note that if you need to take that class at your community college. Okay, I am now going to help you find articulated courses. This is pretty much the same as finding GE courses. You're just going to use the center column on assist.org. What articulated courses means is that the course at the community college is directly equivalent to a class taken at Cal Poly Pomona. So first you're going to want to select Cal Poly Pomona under the institution. And then you will want to select your community college under agreements with other institutions. Finally, you will click on view agreements. This will bring up a new page where you will be able to View agreements by the department. You can then go ahead and enter in um, what department you would like to view. For example, if you wanted to view um, the history class, you can go ahead and type in history where it says filter department list. If you need to find a psychology class, you can type in psychology, etc. This will then open another page that will show you what classes at your community college are directly equivalent to which classes at Cal Poly Pomona. So if you are following along, which course does History 2202 at your community college cover? All right, ne the next step is you need to apply to the community college itself. So you're gonna wanna go to the community college website 
You can either locate the search button and search for admissions or how to apply, or you, most community colleges have admission link located on their homepage. So you can just follow the necessary steps that are outlined on their website, and you will apply through the Open California Community College application. Please keep in mind that you will need to check your enrollment dates for the term that you want to enroll in so that you make sure you enroll on time and you're able to get into the class that you need. Or next, we're going to talk about registering for courses. You're going to follow the California Community College registration process. So whichever school you're going to, again, you can search for how to register and they will have resources on how to register through their system. You're going to want to make sure that you register for the course that you noted as equivalent from essence.org or noted, noted that covers the specific GE category that you are trying to satisfy. Finally, you are going to want to send your transcript back to Cal Poly Pomona. You're going to want to send your transcript after your course has been completed and your grade has been finalized. So this means that your grade will be posted on your transcript. You will need to send your transcripts with the final grade posted to Cal Poly or else it will not count towards your degree at Cal Poly Pomona. We need those transcripts in order to verify that you have completed and passed those classes. You can, again, search on your community college's website on how to order official transcripts, and you can request that your community college send them straight over to Cal Poly Pomona. If you have more questions about sending transcripts, you can always contact the registrar's office at your community college, and they should be able to help you out. All right, and that is how you are going to take classes at the community college. Hopefully, this was an informative workshop, and you were able to get some helpful information out of this. If you do have any questions about anything that we discussed today, please feel free to email us at class-advising at cpp.edu or check our website for drop-in hours. You can also schedule an appointment with your assigned advisor or come to us in Building 5, Room 228.